My two cents on the Honolulu Rail. The entire process was done completely backwards. Why didn't we start creating the rail in town first, from Waikiki to Ala Moana, and then maybe Ala Moana to UH, or to Kaka'ako, and basically have it in town for people to actually use. And this way, a lot of tourists that come to visit, they would be using the rail and helping to pay for the future expansion out to the west side. That would have been a much smarter way to start with the rail. Not only did they not do that, but they haven't purchased the land in town. And so now it's at a price where it's not feasible for the government to be able to purchase the land that's in town and connect the rail all the way into Waikiki, where originally they thought that it could go. Um, so I thought that was a huge mistake. And secondly, they started it from the opposite end out in the farm fields in Kapole and and the other mistake they made was why did they have to raise it when there's completely nothing around the area? Why not have it on the ground first? And then in the future, if they need to raise it, they can raise it as as they go out. You know, now we have these huge concrete pillars in the middle of these farm fields in Kapole. What, what's the purpose of that? It was so expensive to do that. And we didn't need to raise it all the way out there. Um, so the whole project, you know, is really frustrating for me as a local resident. Um, I think it really pushed back our Hawaii community many, many years. And the people who suffer are people like myself who are from Hawaii who have to pay all the taxes to build this thing, which is completely delayed over budget and we're never going to use it. And, be and it's not useful for us. You know, if it, right now I think it maybe goes from Kapole to the airport. Nobody really needs to have that sort of transportation. So I hope in the future, whenever we have future projects here in Hawaii, um, our state officials can take a better look at things and you know, keep us in, in mind when they're making these decisions because something like this is just so difficult for Hawaii to um, have to deal with. I think that money could have better been spent on affordable housing, um, you know, creating other alternative modes of transportation and things like that. And so it's very frustrating for me. I'd love to hear your two cents as well. So shoot me a line and uh, let's keep the conversation going. Thanks so much for tuning in and uh, hearing my two cents.